Welcome to the Biobalance HealthCast number 308. Dr. Moffin interviews patient Dennis Morgan. Biobalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of Biobalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Maupin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at Biobalance Health. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Today we'd like to talk to one of my very favorite patients, Dennis Morgan. He is an attorney, he's a retired attorney from the oil and gas industry. He was the general counsel for a very large gas uh, company. Natural gas. Natural gas company um, for 30 years. And he is here today to talk to us about his experience with testosterone replacement and with biobalance pellet therapy. So, so Dennis, if you can tell me a little bit about how you started using testosterone pellets, where you were in your life, and and um, how you came to find them, because they're not sometimes they're not that easy to find a doctor or to find testosterone pellets in a particular area. So, tell me your story. Sure, uh, it was just a little past the millennium. I was out at the Phoenician mm -hmm. uh, in Scottsdale. Um, and I was talking to a massage therapist, and uh, uh, I was telling her, it's kind of like the line from Desperado, you're losing all your highs and lows, and it's funny how the feeling goes away. I just, I didn't Perfect. feel, I didn't feel like I used to feel, and I would have been, well, I'm 68 now, so, you know, and, whatever, do the math. And nobody can tell, <laughs> no, which is you. awesome. Thanks a lot. <laughs> um, so, you know, doing the math, I was, what, 51, 52, somewhere mm -hmm. in there. And she said, "Well, you know, there's a there's a there's a, a real miracle worker uh, here, actually in, in the valley. Uh, his name is Gino Tutera." I thought, oh "My God, I know I know him. I know this guy from <laughs> from from college. He was a he's a OBGYN. Mm -hmm. or, that's what he did for most of his career, and he had a practice out in Scottsdale and Rancho Mirage, at, at maybe Beverly Hills in Kansas City, mm -hmm. and he did testosterone replacement, which I'd never heard of before. Mm -hmm. So." I went to see him. I thought he was actually one of the older brothers in my fraternity house. It turns out he wasn't. He said, no, I just hung around your house because there were a lot of pretty girls there. So. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that, that would be Gino. <laughs> so you know, he, he, he went into that practice. He explained he went into that practice for some time in his career. And then he got into hormone replacement uh -huh. for his female patients. Uh -huh. Then I think he pretty much exclusively did hormone replacement and uh -huh. did it on himself as well as mm -hmm. as well as other men, uh, used them himself as a guinea pig. Uh, but he <laughs> in those days, I, that's that was long before um, the millennium when he started when he learned how to do this from really? his partner in California. Okay, and his partner was from Canada. They used to do this in Canada a lot. Okay, so it kind of came from Canada to California and then to you in, in Scottsdale through Gino. And okay. Gino was trained me and all three of us. Went to Mizzou. That's I mean, which is, and he went to Mizzou undergrad and med school. Yeah, yeah. So, so we all have a common background. Sort of like, and I went well, that law school. Yeah, so. law school. So, uh, but that's that's one of those things that uh, kind of is a weird binding thing it that is, would bring yeah. us together yeah. and have some common ground. But so you you actually felt very comfortable with Gino. Oh, very much yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. And he's a great guy. And he was the man who trained me, the doctor who trained me. Mm. So and he trained me in 2002. And then I started uh, really started my practice that year and then uh, slowly built since then. But he was my he was my mentor, and then I bought I bought his Kansas City practice and what started going that? to Kansas City. That was um, two thousand and three. Three, okay. Three, late two thousand and three, and that. So I had already started practicing here, and then he said, "I can't go to Kansas City anymore. I'm so busy." And that's when he started training all the doctors across the country. Okay. So his practice, just so everyone knows. His method of uh, giving pellets is and testosterone to both men and women is called Soto Pele. That's right. That's yeah. the name of of his practice, and he, I guess, franchised it or whatever. I don't know how he arranged it, but he has all these doctors that he's trained across the country. I was the first one, so I'm I didn't have to go through 
that process. I was an independent person, so I have I my see. own um, method of, of um, I took what he does and I kind of changed so that I would be more integrative and more pr uh, preventive medicine and hormones so that I could take care of more of the person and prevent illness. Okay. Cool. Now, now you, um, you've seen me for a long time. About seven years, I think. And just overall, I know that you had this feeling that you just didn't have your mojo. Right. Yeah. But, um, do you have any other specific things like loss of muscle or, or, um, stamina for exercise or, I mean, that's the thing that most men come in saying, you know, besides Besides all of the ED stuff, they yeah. they usually have this. I've lost my ability to sell, or I've lost my ability to go to court, or I'm getting anxiety, or I've lost my muscle mass. And I'm very upset about my body, and I I really want to get it back. I mean that I think some of that was what you experienced. Besides yeah. just not feeling like yourself, it was. I really yeah. There, it wasn't. It was not feeling like myself. That's for sure. Um, how how fast did it come back? Yeah, you know, it's. I think it's at least for me. It's mm -hmm. important to, to 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 put it together with 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 really with weight training, mm -hmm. because I don't know that without weight training, uh, the things that happened would have happened. I just mm -hmm. don't know because I, I, weight training was really part of what I did. Mm -hmm. So at the same time that I was seeing him, I also began seeing. Uh, this fanatical Navy SEAL. Uh, well, we is, recommend that you see a fanatical <laughs> Navy SEAL. I'm kidding, but uh, that you do a weight, trainer. weight and, training. And so that began to develop. Now, mm -hmm. I will also say, though, there was a period of time when I both got away from the weight training, mm -hmm. and that was before I came to see mm -hmm. you, and also got away from, from tea, or, or well, to put it more accurately, I began using these gels, mm -hmm. which didn't work. Right, and, so and that's common, then too. I began to experience muscle loss. I just wasn't, right. I didn't have what I had. So when I began to see you, one of the things I talked about, we talked about mm -hmm. early was who would you recommend to train with? And, mm -hmm. and we had the same trainer. Yeah. Too. So we have the same trainer who is not, is not, he doesn't push me to the max, but he pushes Dennis to the max. I mean, I don't want that. Dennis does. So he can, uh, his name's John Schneider. Yeah. He's a, he's at fitness edge, which is right up the, the road from my office. And he, the big key to him is he won't get you injured, which I think is the downfall of, of weight training is that you're, if you're pushed by a trainer mm -hmm. too far, then you'll get injured. Then you can't train, you know, so he won't injure you, but he'll push you to the max right. and he'll do my, uh, mine sculpting. I'm trying to do sculpting more than anything else. I don't want to have huge muscles. I want to have, I want to have, I already have muscles, so I want to have it, have the right shape. So, so he can do anything. Yeah. And that's what you want to look for is somebody you, who will listen to you and do what you want, but you can't make muscle without testosterone. So if you're over 40 and you can't make muscle with a great trainer, then this, you need to have testosterone to help you actually get to your goals. Cause that's true. Cause I was training with somebody, uh, before I began using the T mm -hmm. and I just wasn't getting, I was just wasn't getting very much results and I was working reasonably hard at mm -hmm. it. So, and but I just wanted to emphasize that training has mm -hmm. always kind of been part of the, you know, the, the two, the two the equation, equation mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. will. Yeah. So, but you've tried, let me tell, tell us, Tell everybody out there what the different types of testosterone you've, you've used. Okay, so initially I did pellets with Gino, which worked very well. Mm -hmm. uh, then for a period of time, which I didn't think worked too well, mm -hmm. as I said, were, were, were these, gel. these gels. Mm -hmm. uh, and then briefly with you, I, I did uh, uh, it's, it's self injections mm -hmm. of testosterone just because I wasn't reacting well to the pellets and you can and we figured on that. yes uh-huh and then and then you went back to the pellets right. after uh, uh, when you were done self injecting with right. the shots so so the the um, unlike the gel the shots gave you what you wanted out of the testosterone they is did, that right they worked yeah they worked that's right i just and didn't like having to jet myself with the, <laughs> that wicked needle yeah and and that that can be an issue for many people some people have needle phobia that's a big deal you can't really give shots to those people but it, in some people it causes high cholesterol and it's not a natural testosterone it mm -hmm. has to have a uh, it's called testosterone cyprinate that's what's in the shots right. so it has a little side chain on it so that it'll last 
two weeks or four weeks, so it lasts longer in your system. So it's not pure testosterone. So that's, but that's one of the things that did not affect you. No. You had the, a great outcome. You had good counts. You had good lab. And so that was appropriate for you. But for uh, most men, that isn't, that isn't quite I as see. good because okay. it's not quite as healthy. So, um, so then you came back to pellets and then uh, basically all of your lab has been going very well. But we, we have one common thing that will happen to certain genetic types of both men and women, and that is that you, got, you can get high blood counts. And all that, all that, and, and Dennis has that, that's not a big deal, except that you just have to have somebody watch it and then you have to give blood. I think that's the only thing people talk about, these adverse effects of testosterone. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of... You know, we certainly haven't had there. hair loss. No, haven't and, had any of them. And you've lost, you know, you lost belly fat and you gain muscle and, I mean, you look drastically younger and healthier. Yeah, thank you. And that's, that's, those are the real benefits, but you haven't had any of the drawbacks. No, and I've been doing it for now, again, doing the math, Yeah. Uh, mostly on since almost years. the millenni mm -hmm. millennium. Yeah. So, so that's... That's a, a good run for you. And I do see the docs regularly, and I mm -hmm. won't get into all that stuff, but just, uh, but just, just saying that, that I'm fine. Yeah. You know, there, there are zero adverse effects. And we haven't, um, I don't remember if you were on any medications when you came to me. I, I don't remember if you had any blood pressure medications or um, anything else. That I, did, could... I did have one, and that, and that went down. In fact, mm -hmm. no, that went out the window. I don't have to take it anymore. Right, and that's... that's that's the big benefit, especially for men. There, it's a little more common to have um, high blood pressure or high cholesterol when when you guys oh, come too. to me. I had, I had one of those. I don't right, you took simvastatin. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and so high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and oftentimes after a year, within the year, then as long as they do what they're supposed to do, which Dennis does, uh, they they don't have to take those medications anymore. They are you guys are just healthier. So when I and when I came to you, just to elaborate, that's when I was doing the the, the gels. Mm -hmm. So the gels were not, you know, were not were not working. It took us a little while to get that out of your system. Yeah, and and to because there's a lot of estrogen. Eighty percent of the gel that you put on your skin turns into estrogen, and they don't ever talk about that. Which is the last thing a man wants, yeah, right? That's right. <laughs> men do not. Men need this itty bitty teeny tiny amount of estrogen just to support bones and brain, but they do not need more than that. And anything more than that makes you guys have man, you didn't have this, but man breasts and belly fat and cry at movies and things like that. That's Those are side, some side effects of estrogen, but they also don't allow you to have enough testosterone. Estrogen's a binder of the receptor site. So when it goes to your cells, it binds up the receptor site so testosterone can't land and connect. Mm. So it, it's a double whammy if you are using gels. Once again, some men can use gels, but most of the men I get are people who have failed gels and that they, they want to go back to something purer in terms of testosterone. I see. Okay. So um, I think that one of the things that we also stress that you were really good at was diet. Yeah, you. I remember because uh, I still have all the stuff you wrote down. <laughs> first time I saw you, and because uh, I do refer back to it from time mm -hmm. to time. Your, to, of, your to do list. Yeah, one, and one of the things on the list was uh, uh, the low carbohydrate diet. There was a, mm -hmm. there was a book, mm -hmm. a little book, and I, I don't refer to it anymore. I really you don't, don't need, need to. to. But but that's I always think about. You know, you gave a basic rule of thumb about you know no more than this amount of carbs or something mm -hmm. like that each time you know each time you eat and I've and really stuck with it and mm -hmm. I, yeah so I stick with all that and also high protein because you have to build right. muscle that's right. how we get muscle muscles made out of pure protein but I don't do it with these energy bars I do it with you know real food like Good. meat and and red meat I do eat by mm -hmm. the way. Uh, along with fish, chicken, you know, all and that hasn't harmed your cholesterol. Things. No, not at all. Not the <laughs> cholesterol is really. In fact, my cholesterol is. Uh, oh gosh, I, I can't do the numbers, but I know it's under one eighty. I think it, there's the not total. much of a delta between the between the good stuff and the bad stuff. So so you're making good yeah. and and very low bad. Yeah. So yeah. that's exactly what we look for. Also, I think your inflammation number, the CRP, was up, and that's inflammation makes you age, and and we look at. Uh, a very specific CRP number, which tells me how high your inflammation is. If it's under three, then your inflammation is is average and and not high. So you've gone from 
high inflammation, which is very common with estrogen. Mm. It can cause inflammation and too low. So that decreases the ability of fat in your bloodstream to stick to blood vessels. Okay. So so that's that's also another good plus. You lowered your cholesterol, you lowered your inflammation. And if we did a, a calcium scan of your heart, I, I would bet at this point that you've cleaned up all your vessels and that they're they're clean. Yeah, interesting. Okay. That's you can we can always do that. We order that for people who just want to know, do I have any plaque or not? And that's the most specific way is a, a two shot CAT scan of the heart. Hmm. I should do that. Yeah, that's and it's self pay, but it's not that much. Some places it's about two hundred dollars. Some two fifty. I think WashU is two fifty. Some other places that we can hook you up with are around two hundred. But but you actually know whether you have an issue or not. Which is I did that after uh, fourteen years of hormones, about the same amount of time you had of testosterone pellets, and I have a zero score, which means I have no plaque. Wow. And my my cholesterol is still a little high. So it's one of those things that cholesterol doesn't always tell the story. I haven't had any inflammation, so it can't stick to my blood vessels. And when they look at my heart, they just started laughing because they couldn't see any calcium. <laughs> That's great. So they said, you can read your own, you, you can read your own um, x-ray. Because, I mean, I couldn't, but I just looked at it and there was no white, so there was no calcium. Now that's different than, the, I get these things in the junk mail and talk mm -hmm. about come in and get a scan. That's a, that's a, this is different than that, I guess. I don't, I think it is. I don't know. I mean, I. I think they're just testing. I don't know. I can't tell you that. They're, supposedly they. If they know, offer they, you they a cat a cat scan of your heart, then that's it. Yeah, I don't know. But that would be ideal if you could go someplace and they're just testing everyone for okay. health. You don't really need your lipids tested because once a year we test them. No, they're great. And or your internist does, but we work together with with Michelle. So right. we're, we work with his internist, so we have a good working relationship, so nothing gets left out. Right. So. Um, Tell me about, tell me a, a day in the life of Dennis. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Tell me like where, you know, what do you eat? Oh, how you, really? what's oh, your exercise okay. like? I just want to know kind of what a day in your life is like. Okay. Um, well, I do travel a fair amount. So, mm -hmm. so some days I'm, I'm in Dallas or Baltimore mm -hmm. or Mexico or <laughs> places like that. Good, so lucky that, you. So that's, that's part of it, <laughs> okay, you know, yeah. part of the tra is travel, but but typically I'll, I'll I'll come and work out. I do uh -huh. that four days a week. I train with with John, uh -huh. so that kicks it off. And in fact, I, I really miss it when I don't. And the other uh -huh. two, I do abs uh, and some aerobics, but frankly, not a lot. Do you, what do you do when you travel? Uh, I, I, what I've done is found gyms uh -huh. wherever I go, uh -huh. and John's given me a routine that I can go through uh -huh. there that keeps. It's not is it is it, is it as good as his? No, but uh -huh. it at least it maintains things so that when I come back, I you know I haven't fallen back. Yeah, he does that for me too. He gives he? me okay. a list of exercises to do when I'm on vacation, so that I don't come back and go, oh, I got to start all over, you know, drop the weights and that kind of thing. So he does that for me. So you start with exercise, yeah. and then you have. What do you eat for breakfast? Oh, uh, what's the typical? Not everybody's di every day is different, but yeah, I, it's 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 pretty Spartan, I guess mm -hmm. is what, what mm -hmm. you'd say. I probably have a hard boiled egg. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, this sounds good. This sounds yeah. weird, mm -hmm. but that's no, what it's... I do. Uh, a handful of spinach. Um, what else? Uh, a few, uh, maybe a, a peach or something mm -hmm. like that. Some fruit, fruit. perfect and fruit, maybe, vegetables, and maybe uh, like one or two of these uh, Mary's Gone crackers. And okay. then that's it. Mm -hmm. And that's your carb. So we, we can't live without carb. We have to yeah. have some for our energy. And everybody who says no carb diet, I, I kind of just back up and say, wait a second. We need fruit carbs, which you got. Yeah. And you needed some grain carbs, which you got. So so you're balancing your diet well. Yeah. Do you have snacks in the middle of the day? Not too much, okay. maybe a few nuts, but really mm -hmm. no, not, not I don't do a whole lot. But 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 I probably I tend to I tend to graze. Okay, right. I mm -hmm. mean it depends too. You know, I'm not, if I'm going if out, you, if, you know, mm -hmm. going out and we're going out to dinner, well, mm -hmm. that's a whole different. And you still game. drink wine and oh yeah, do, you know, it's not like we've restricted your diet back to Spar to Spartan no. everything. Yeah, maybe Spartan was maybe the wrong maybe the word is. Uh, it's well, fresh. I, it's fresh. Yeah, and it is. It's basic foods. That's it's right. not foods that have been. Um, put through uh, a lot of processing. So, and that's what we're looking for, if you can do it. I really avoid processed stuff. I try to get organic stuff, mm -hmm. but I, you know, it's not like I'm, I'm, I'm really, really strict because I'm not. And when I go out to eat, I'll still, mm -hmm. I'll still cheat. I'll still have 
bread, you know, even mm-hmm. though I don't, I, I tend to avoid it, but right. But you can little. still, once you're at weight, house. once you're at weight, you can still have bread. Yes, I mean, okay. but years of avoiding bread or avoiding carbs has made me feel tired after I eat them. So I usually save them for when I'm going to go to sleep anyway, Oh, I you know, see. Okay. at night. But, you know, sometimes some people react to that, some don't. But clearly that doesn't bother you. And so then that's fine. That's, I just wanted, I wanted people to know that this is a kind of a, it's a very individualized thing to set up diet, exercise, hormones, preventive medicine uh, for each patient so that they can live their life. I mean, you, you don't feel impaired by not being able to eat all no, of these all. weird things not that people all. do eat. You can, fi- and you travel. So you can even obviously figure that out when you're on the road. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's not, it's not terribly restricted. I don't, I don't really don't find it restrictive at all. Uh, that's, it's that's not like great. some of these books you read and you think, Oh my God, how could I possibly do this? And we try to make it as easy that you don't count calories. You can eat as, as many calories as you want, but you just have to have less than 25 grams of carb. At each meal, which yeah. could be six meals a day for some people. I th- the kind of things, for instance, maybe that I don't do that, say, most people do or mm-hmm. many people do uh, would be at lunch. I don't or <clears throat> probably s- sandwiches. Mm-hmm. I just don't eat that much bread. I don't mm-hmm. I don't want it. So whatever I order doesn't have, you know, the buns or the sandwich mm-hmm. with it. Uh, but it's not like that's all. It's all completely free of sauces or, or, or things that make food right. good. I, mm-hmm. I, I eat all that. You don't that have to count sauce or, or fats or, do, or anything. Nor do I order a, like a big bowl of pasta. Mm-hmm. Uh, those are the kind of things I tend to avoid. Now, um, you know, don't get me wrong. My kids come in town. You know, they're mm-hmm. junk food eaters. So you know, I get pulled back into mm-hmm. that from time to time. But not a, not as a general rule. You know, as a general rule, I really try to think about you know really that. Really, that one thing you talked about. Mm-hmm. You know, Just keep, keep from the keep carbs, it carbs, it carbs low. And, and then, not eating the processed junk. Right. So so you're my star, pa- my star pupil. <laughs> it's our patient. So I, I just want to thank you for being with us and, and sharing your story. Because there's so many people out there barraged with misinformation about testosterone and what it'll do to you and what you have to give up to be healthy. And, and you don't you don't feel or look or sound like, like you're deprived. You, you live your life beautifully and, and uh, healthy. And Thank that's you. given you the best outcome, uh, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So, um, you're the miracle so if we could now, just, so, so if you. we could, thank you. So if we could just package you, no, I mean, but that's an example for people. Cause they always say, I can't, Oh, I can't do that. I can't give up my big gulp, you know, that kind of thing. Sure. So it really, you don't miss it after a while. I don't miss any of that junk so but thank you so much for being here and sharing uh with us and we will um we'll be back we'll be back next time with like lecturing again (laughs) (laughs) the non-fun stuff but i may bring you back later to 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 discuss other things that you've you've used to stay healthy all right thank you very much great thank you email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com You can find the BioBalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit BioBalanceHealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash BioBalanceHealth. Find Brett Newcomb at BrettNewcomb.com.